<clears throat> Title of this email. Horrified at what I slept with. He slept with a beast. Dude slept with Stephen Hawkins with a wig. Hey, I noticed, man, one thing ugly women got in common. They all got some good pussy. Hey, Keith and Kevin. I've been texting a girl for about a week and she came over last night. All that hard work just paid off for you, didn't it? Yeah, got her over there. Immediately, I wasn't attracted to her in any way. Face wasn't great and she was more than just curvy. Oh, so she was a big girl. Yeah. Big girls? Big girls feel good, man. Yeah. Feel like pillows when you're on top of them. Yeah. Feel <laughs> like you're laying on a big ass pillow. <laughs> yeah. Dick, when it goes in, man, just melts in them like butter. Yeah. You just stick your arms and legs out mm -hmm. and you just, nothing touching the bed, you're just sitting on them. Since she was already here, I said, <laughs> fuck it, and I slept with her. And you roll off, right? And you fall two feet. Yeah. That's, what, that's how you know she's a big girl. <laughs> I turned out the lights and I just tried thinking about someone else. But the lights accidentally got turned on and I saw her and I feel like I'm scared for life. God damn, can't nobody will. <laughs> he's just, he's, that's a metaphor, man. He just, he saw it and was like, fuck. Yeah. You guys have told stories about unattractive girls you've been with in the past. How did you get over the mental picture? <clears throat> Ain't nothing to get over. Let well, no, I wouldn't say that, man. The first time I slept, you remember, what's her face? Uh, uh, Miss Mullins. Nah, I don't bring her name up, man. That's disrespectful. Man, that's a lot of Mullins. That Stephen Hawking looking bitch, right? I called Keith, man, because I was distraught. I mean, the pussy was good, don't get me wrong. I busted within, I'm gonna say a minute. That pussy was just too good, I couldn't hold back. And I cream pot her ass, right? Went home, right? Took about 15 showers. Just couldn't get the girl smell off of me. But yeah, first time when you sleep with, you know, something hideous is, well, I ain't gonna say hideous, I say unattractive. You're gonna feel somewhat less of a man. That's from me personally, it's, Feel less than a man? What the fuck? You ain't no fucking real man to you fuck a ugly bitch. What you talking about? Yeah, I, when I was 19, 18, yeah. I was a little boy. Yeah. Well, hey, man, when you become a real man, you will find out pussy is pussy. Yeah, man, you ain't a real man yeah. until you lay a girl down that you're not attracted to. Yeah. Get that dick hard anyway. Think about some shit you want. Yeah. Then go deep inside of that. Yeah. That makes you a real man. Yeah, it takes a real man to be able to get an erection and have sex with a female that you're not attracted to. That's proving your manhood. Yeah. You need to go back and reassess the situation and look yourself in the mirror and look it and be honest with yourself. You ain't no man. You a little boy. Pretending. Be that man. Yeah, man, now. He did it. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I lost my virginity, man. She wasn't not, not nice to look at. I mean, my, uh, saw she lifted her shirt up. Mm -hmm. All I seen was damn a pack of uh, fucking hot dog cranks. It was rolls everywhere. Yeah, I remember this one girl, man. But she, you know what? Went up inside. Didn't last long. Yeah, pussy good, right? Yeah. Yeah. I remember I had this one girl, man. I, I happened to look down, and I looked down at her hips and her um, thighs. I swore them down. I could see a goddamn fucking three pounds of cottage cheese. But you know what? That shit turned me on. That pussy was good. You know what happened about three minutes later? Cream pot. Some special effects. Title of this email, How to Start a Conversation. Hey, bitch. That's how you start a conversation. <laughs> Just dumb it down and stop overthinking things. 